For the last couple of decades, skateboarding has been the essential form of street skating. From its fad beginnings back in the 70s, the sport has developed into a hardcore youth subculture. If you're a skater, the sport's got definite street cred. But for Mr. and Mrs. Residential, they'd rather you got your cred on somebody else's streets. If skateboarding isn't your cup of tea, fear not, because a new form of skating has arrived which might be right up your street. Inline skating has been labeled the family sport of the 90s. It's wholesome, it's healthy, it's acceptable. Now, some skaters might think it's all just media hype and a bit flaky. But there are signs that inline might yet be set to join skateboarding as a major league street cred sport. We start out in San Francisco, mean old Frisco, or SF as the natives call it. The streets of SF have always been a hot spot to skate, and since the beginning of time, hill riders have been feeding up speed like adrenaline jockeys. But now there's more to skateboarding, and because SF has so much to offer in terms of skatable terrain, the city has become the spring of all new skateboard creation and wisdom. If something new happens in skateboarding, it happens here first. Street skating is 90% of what's happening. What's happening now is plazas and curbs and spots, uh, parking lots and, you know, basic asphalt wasteland that nobody else has anything to do with except for maybe 9 to 5 when they have to park their car on it. Uh, and those are the spots that, that skaters skate. As far as the SF street scene goes, skateboarding is big business. So where better to skate than downtown in the big business area? And in the heart of city Slickersville, the Plaza, Embarcadero, EMB, skateboard mecca. Kids, if you really want to get hip with what's up in skateboarding, come to EMB and this can all be yours someday. The brickwork is about the gnarliest surface you could skate on. The curbs are well lathered. And, uh, you know, that's about it. Not much more to it than that. Grab your board. Yeah, skaters from around the world come to EMB for a holiday of a lifetime. Everyone just goes there and just skates. It was like a mall, basically a park. All people from all over come there, all over the world. People from England are here to skate in Japan. Pretty cool. From uh, France to skate in uh, Ombacadero, big place, good place in San Francisco. Whew. A lot of good skateboarders, it's so, so good. So big yeah. room everywhere. Whew. That's so, so cool. Well, have you Look taken it. any spills today? A couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Of all skating locations, EMB is at the cutting edge of what's going on. Just keep your eyes open and watch the latest tricks in the making. Do they call you Joey or Joe? Billy. Now, what tricks have you been working on? Step lot? off to tail slide, to backside shove it, no side. This is a big money maneuver. There's three stairs all the way around the whole entire place. There's benches, you know, all around this whole place, different sized ones. These ledges right here are pretty squared off up here, and if you look down and around this whole place, they're really round, so that'll pretty much tell you how long this place has been skated. It's got seven stairs there, it's got a big old drop over there, it's got a big old wall over there, it's got a lot to offer as far as uh, skating. So it's got everything you want except for a handrail, and if you want that, I suppose you can just go skate elsewhere. There's a handrail down the street. Yeah. Until you get on a skateboard, you'll just never know how hard these tricks are to do. But beware, the road to mastery of trick skating is paved with pain. Ouch!
five. Now, if you survive your initiation ceremony into the sport, it's not over yet. More pitfalls await you because one of the downsides to street skating is that you have to share your environment with others. And sometimes these others, well, they're often not quite as into skating as you might be. Signs have gone up around Embarcadero telling the kids that their sport has been outlawed. Skate here and you risk having your board impounded plus a hundred dollar fine to boot. Now this doesn't stop the kids, but it does make them feel oppressed. They wouldn't mind so much if they had parks to skate in, but they don't. Their crime is one of damaging inanimate concrete. If concrete has feelings, well, then maybe that's understandable. But in a city that's riddled with vice, at least these kids have chosen to spend their time doing something that's creative. Well, I suppose that like any budding Van Gogh, you have to suffer for your art, right? Listen, kid, you're over. You've got the right to remain silent. It's something that society really wants to just say, it doesn't exist, you know, it's a problem, but, you know, you know, in Canada and in England and in a lot of Europe, the councils build these public parks for kids. In America, you don't have that because there's liability. Everybody's so quick to sue everybody. You have all these lawyers that are greedy. I'll sue you, you know. <laughs> and that's kind of why my place, my ramps, I have it private because I don't want some little kid suing me because he breaks his arm in my ramps or something. Down in the SF Docklands, amongst packing houses and the storage wasteland, lies Studio 43. Bryce Knights, writer and photographer for the weekly skating bubble Thrasher Mag, set the place up to give the kids a break from crunching concrete and a chance to ride some vert ramp. Even if you're from out of town, you're welcome just to turn up and jam. going. Uh, my name is Jake and I'm going to take you over here to my, where I work and where I hang out on Friday nights. It's called Studio 43. Skateboard uh, facility. It's private. All the kids hang out in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's one of the only ramp places to skate. It's private because of the insurance liability, but uh, it's really a positive thing and uh, you guys really get into it. It's all about, you know, you against your board and, you know, the ramp, wherever you're going to ride. Come on in. on a 10-foot vert ramp, I mean, that's, that's crazy. Totally off the board, completely. It's incredible. And that's really putting it on the line, testing, you know, your own physical level. That's what skateboarding does. The SF uh, City Boys shred. A lot of these kids, you talk to them, and they're, a lot of them draw, or they're into photography like myself, or they're into music. Skaters are a lot, in a lot of the ways they are artists. Um, I don't think they get into it, oh, I'm going to be part of the, the rebel group. I don't think so. I think they're into it because it's a release and it's an art form. High five. My name's Noah Peacock, and this is my girl girlfriend, Diana Peacock. And Angus Peacock, right here. My son, the dog. Tell me what it's like then to live in San Francisco. What's it like to see? Oh, man. Well, it's my favorite place to be. The whole city's like a skate park, you know? Now we have a warehouse with ramps and we have all the hills. I'm stoked. Hips and fun box and quarter pipes and little cool coping rail slide bars and a curb and... Oh, yeah. 
because it is fun and they'll like it, you know? People that like to skate should definitely come here. No, I don't go to school. I work at my dad's guitar shop right down the street. This is my dad, George Peacock. Hi there. Owns the shop. Been here for about 20 years. I'm learning how to build guitars and repair them, you know? I've already built a classical guitar. Took me a while, I guess about a year to make it, but it sounds nice. And, um, me and all my friends that like to go fast and skate the ramps or whatever, we all listen to Slayer and Venom or whatever, you know? of San Francisco lies an area called Oakland. Nine months ago, a forest fire ripped through the hills and left in its wake a trail of annihilation. All that's left of the once affluent residential area are the street names, rubble and foundations where houses once stood. It's become a bleak and lifeless zone where no one lives and nothing grows. But for the skaters, it's become a sanctuary. Today's date is today. We're going to the rip and pull up in the open hills. Skateboard. Okay. NorCal style. Good goes on there. The houses have gone, but the pools remain. The owner of this property is happy that Noah and fellow skaters have turned his disaster around and made it into something positive. It's that phoenix rising out of the ashes, man. just sitting here enjoying someone's complete and utter disaster hundreds of people's homes gone and all for us to play now skaters can be kind of aloof between each other there's no problem because the common bonds a skateboard the sports tough so it wins respect but when they see stuff like this going on in their backyard they're not always shall we say um Sympathetic. Some guys are gonna be bummed that I'm saying this, but it's never gonna be a big, big thing. It's a fad. As a skater, I look at it and just laugh. <laughs> there is no common line. <laughs> there is no common line. <laughs> <laughs> 